So we're going to look at a couple lessons here, De'Aaron Fox and his film. Um, but first, I'm putting together this huge skill database. You can see the screenshot, screen record of it right here. I've blocked out the URL because it's not released yet. But you can see I'm going to have NBA and WNBA skill breakdowns on this website, ranging from scoring moves to finishing moves, moving without the ball, ball handling, more and more and more. I've already got hundreds and hundreds of clips, both from NBA and WNBA. This is free, and I want to encourage you to subscribe to my channel to stay up to date with this website. I'll post it more on my YouTube. But going to these first couple clips with this De'Aaron Fox film study is we're looking at the first lesson, which is great scores score from three levels, and I think De'Aaron Fox is becoming a great scorer. So right here, and the first lesson is going to be pretty simple. Two and three will be a little more um, detailed, I guess. But like right here, you can see he's going to score. That's kind of closer to the rim. Not exactly a layup, but still pretty close to the rim. Here's a mid-range floater he's going to take. Here's another um, kind of shot close to the rim. Now we're going to get into three-point shots. And here's another here's another in transition that's a mid-range kind of step back. So in this game against the Clippers, he had over 30 points. I don't know if he led the league in scoring this night, but he had a ton of points. And uh, he was scoring from all three levels. There's another mid-range. But great scores, you've got to learn. P players, my, my advice to you is... Be able to score from all three levels and make sure you work on that in your training and in your workouts. All right, so lesson two in this film study is going to be about attacking the body of rim protectors and being able to finish through contact and protect the basketball on finishes. So we're going to watch a couple finishes right here, and we're going to see how it gets into the body of rim protectors. So right here, it's a very simple crossover and transition. Obviously, he's very quick. But as he goes into the rim, look how the ball is high. So he gets the ball high and protects it. And he is attacking the body of the rim defender. Obviously, you want to be careful so as to not commit a charge. But if the defense is sliding over, look to make contact with him. Extend the ball high and then release the ball after you make that contact. So we're going to look at another clip here. Much of the same thing. So right here again, left hand drive. Drives into the lane. Luke Kennard is going to step over to contest the shot. And as he's picking up the ball right here, you notice the basketball is already above his head. And he's jumping. He's protecting the basketball, elevating the basketball over the defender's reach, and then creating contact with his body on the finish. This takes great strength, great balance, great control. But this is a finishing type that players need to work through. Again, Right hand drive this time, he's going to get into the body of the defense and just be physical and, and go through contact. Much of the same here, even though the contact isn't going to be super strong. I think it's going to be a goaltend or either a foul right there. But much of the same. As he's lifting up, the ball is elevated above the defense. His body is creating contact with the defense, and he's drawing the foul. Same thing right here even though he misses the first layup. Again, much of the same thing. So he's driving, basketball is above his head as he's jumping, he's creating contact with the defense. After he bumps the defense, they fade away from him through the contact and he's able to release the shot. Now, I'm not saying go out and do this type of finish every single layup you take. If you can get on two feet or one foot and just make a simple uncontested layup, that's better. But this is a type of finish that good players, good scorers need to have within their skill set. All right, lesson three. This is a particular move that I think guards today of all levels must have. And these are short jumpers. You might call them floaters, but these are must-have moves for guards today. <clears throat> We're going to look at a couple right here. So the defense slides over. Darren Fox decelerates, gets on two feet, and he's not so far in the paint that it's a layup, but it's kind of a short jumper slash foot floater. Goes off two feet, gets it over the defense, and of course makes it. This is going to be uh, similar moves going forward. So right here, he's just under control. And and in all these clips, or the in all these clips, the rim protector is going to be at the rim. And as a guard, especially, you do not typically want to create contact sorry you don't want the defender to block your shot around the rim so if you are a shorter guard then if you can pull up from this range you're going to be able to go over the big over the center or power forward 
and get the shot up before they can step up and block it. And then of course, obviously if the big steps up towards you on the drive, then maybe you can shot fake step through or just drive around them and shoot it. This, uh, that's a clip we saw earlier, just short jumper. Um, and this is actually a re repeat clip, but he does this move a lot, just these short jumpers. All right, that's it for this film study with De'Aaron Fox. I just covered three pretty quick lessons, some tips that you can add to your game. Again, um, be sure to subscribe to my channel because I will be updating you guys on this skill video database that I'm working on. Again, it's going to be free. It's going to have NBA and WNBA clips. I think that you guys will really enjoy it and benefit from it. So subscribe to stay up to date for that. Thanks for watching this. Hope it was helpful.